Hi guys, we're back again. My name is Lisa. And um is this Tana? Again. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um and we are again talking on the conversation of university and choosing courses and just yeah, what our experience was coming into it. How did you know you wanted to do architecture? Like let's like Go back to baby you did you know you wanted to build things? no actually i didn't <laughs> what did you want to be? i wanted to be and hmm, i wanted to be a doctor when i was no younger way. can you imagine <laughs> can you imagine um fast forward i didn't even get through two years of chemistry so, <laughs> so that, that, that was the first was like, yeah. <laughs> so like it was covered <laughs> no <laughs> definitely not hmm. but no I, I don't know what, ha like alo all along the way, I was like, yeah, I want to be a doctor, I want to be a doctor. And then I started doing chemistry and I hated it. You guys, I don't think anyone hated it more than me. After the end of, um, after the end of my second year in high school, I was like, no, thank you. Thank Never you, again. Sarah. I can't, I, I cannot mm -hmm. continue this. So, yeah. That's like later on that's when i started exploring like different things to do because i was like now the doctor thing is different it's, it's, it's like it's gone <laughs> it's, like, no, from us. it's gone and like i really really used to like like art and stuff like mm -hmm. that i mean i don't as much anymore but <laughs> that's okay that's okay that's, <laughs> that's all right so yeah then the whole thing like sort of like it started um coming together after that mm. and, like i figured out like people actually design buildings like this is a thing this is a career i can do and yeah. Hmm, I see. I wanted to be a lawyer because my uncle was a lawyer, had a big house, so I figured that, <laughs> <laughs> that if you wanted money, that was, that that was, was a place to go. See, I've always been money minded for say it's new. No. <laughs> um, but then, and then also because now when I told that to my dad, well, wow, the D, I told that to like, my dad, yeah. he was like, yeah, you read, yeah, you can talk, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then I <laughs> I did internship because um, at, at high, um, the high school we were at, you were supposed to do internship. So I did internship at a law firm and I was like, you know what, I could never do this for a living. Actually, I'd be depressed. I don't, it's a mistake. Stressful, I'm not yeah. going to do it. So that's how. And then I was also doing, I, was, I used to MC at school and then I used to write for the newsletter and um, I did an internship with um, a certain media house. And <laughs> one that shall not be named. <laughs> so I did it with your house. And it, like, I loved the experience. I hated the fact that there's no money, like, there's no money in media. Mm. But, mm. <laughs> anyway, so there's no money, but I really loved the experience. I wanted then shortly after I did, like, a media course, short media course. And I told my dad, I want to do journalism. He was like, where? How? <laughs> what does How? that mean? Like, no, impossible. And then after that, I, so she's like, no, you're going to do law, you're going to be a lawyer. Okay, if I do law for four years, then and you can do you whatever do you thing. want. I was like, don't do that. <laughs> Sir, <laughs> first of all, this thing does law on Saturdays from morning to 7 p.m. You never miss it. Anyway, so um, then I started just doing research. I had started organizing as a feminist and I really liked a couple of stuff. I wanted to do political science, but the only university that was doing political science is a ghetto. It's a, it's a ghetto. It's here in Kampala. It's like in the middle of the road. I can't say, say it's not me. <laughs> it's not no, I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> like, so um, then I looked at other options. It was either human rights, and I was like, oh, okay, that's like a bit, it's, it's, What's it called? Like limited. Mm. It's limited to do just that. And then I found government international relations. Mm. Um, yeah. What would you say to someone who hasn't figured it out? Because a lot of people feel like that. Like they haven't like figured I it have out. Like I have to figure it out. Or oh, there's another question when you're in high school, moving into uni. Yeah, I feel like, like what are you going oh, to study? Are you gonna Guys, even me now with a degree, I don't know what I'm going to be. Same. <laughs> like. <laughs> What would, you say? what would I say? Um, if you haven't figured it out yet, I would say start with what you're interested in mm. and go from there. Mm. And not like interested in of um, like okay, yeah, it can be a hobby for sure, but like something like you're really you know you're really passionate about, and like yeah, start from there and go because like there's so many career choices you wouldn't even like you wouldn't even it. think about it. I think yeah, 
man okay like we always trash our dear culture but come on like open up like our eyes yeah <laughs> they used to do this thing where we would go and look at unis and then they'd give you like pamphlets of like different um courses that are available yeah but there's a job for everything like, literally, literally everything. everything like i and didn't know like certain careers in english existed right? like i was like okay so there's a job for everything so just do your research that's what i would yeah, say yeah and um you don't have to have it figured out. Also, take a gap year. I took a gap year, not voluntarily, but it helped me. If you're able like, to, if you're in position to get, yeah. take a gap year or do internship. Um, yeah, so that to you like can figure out, figure yeah. it out. Because I feel like if I hadn't done internship in law, I'd have studied law and, and then hated eh, it and dropped yeah. out in that first in that first semester. Definitely. I'd have spent two years. Thanks very much. Bye. Um, not that law is such a good thing. Good for you. For you. Yeah, it's just not for me. <laughs> just not for me. Um, Definitely a gap year. Then, uh, yeah, just just take time to figure it out. Also, like uh, now you can make money out of anything and everything, so don't be worried. Like make a career out of any of your interests, so don't yeah. be worried of you know fitting into certain boxes. Also, because we live in a very African, you know, context, culture, and people still yeah. have this idea of what you should do. Don't like, do unprofessional courses. Like yeah, what's it's unprofessional? Not, exactly. It's not only engineering. <laughs> medicine and what law, else law accountant business like, like they're not only four or five yes, courses there's really five so courses. many there's things so that much. you can do and so yeah much. and guys yeah for people who know people in university stop asking us where we're going to be we don't know <laughs> we don't know just know we we don't we're trying that's to figure it out as we go we're on that way yeah. yeah i think that's about it if you have mm. any questions just comment and i will answer them what was your experience choosing your course whatever course you chose mm. um and what advice would you leave for someone who's watching this and wondering what they should go into for uni thank you so much don't forget to like share comment and subscribe also follow us now on, on our social media 